Now, when the Prime Ministers of the Palestinian Authority and Israel both visited China in recent weeks, many international commentators wondered whether Beijing might be expanding its role in global affairs. Well, that question remains unanswered, but what has become clear is that there was another issue on the agenda, business. As Haley Slyer reports, China is planning to build a railway line through Israel that would allow easier access to the Middle Eastern markets for Chinese goods. China is on track to revolutionize the face of trade in the Middle East, a multi-billion dollar railway line that is a game changer. As far as expertise goes, the Chinese have been involved in many similar projects around the world. The plan is to build a 180 kilometer railway from Israel's southern port in Eilat on the Red Sea to its Mediterranean ports in Eshdod and Haifa. From there, cargo can travel onwards to Europe. As far as the Chinese interest in such a project, I think it's both economic but also strategic. I mean, having a, having a connection between the port of Eilat in the Red Sea and the port of Australia in the Mediterranean gives them access to both uh, directions where they can move both energy resources and other uh, cargo. The route will be far faster than boats reaching the Mediterranean through the Suez Canal. Now they'll be able to bypass the canal completely and dock in Eilat. The railway is expected to increase trade from China, India and other Asian countries to Israel, while also reducing Tel Aviv's dependence on a waterway controlled by her increasingly hostile neighbour. One of the big concerns for Israelis is the deterioration in relations between Tel Aviv and Cairo. But by bypassing the Egyptian-controlled Suez Canal, Israelis will no longer have to fear that if Egypt ever did block the canal, then their economy would come to a standstill. Egypt is a mess. How long will it take for the, uh, for the mess to spill over into the Suez Canal? If the Suez Canal ever closes, that will be a catastrophe for, for worse trade, and it will be a blow to China also. A lot of Chinese trade goes through the Suez Canal also. The idea is not only for a cargo train, but also for one that transports people. Savan Shahar lives in Eilat, but works in Tel Aviv. The lengthy commute sees her spending many hours on the road. It will be a great relief, actually. It will be a great assistance for me because it will take about two and a half hours each way instead of like four hours in a bus now or taking a flight, which is always harder. The proposed railway line is along a route used in ancient times by caravans from Arabia and India to Europe but it's not without its problems. We need to understand that this train passes through one of our biggest nature reserves in an area that we're protecting and fighting to protect for a very, very long time. It's, it goes near the natural equators, which are only can be found in Israel and in Sinai. And uh, they pass through a lot of archeological uh, sites Construction is expected to take about five years to complete and will cost in the region of four billion dollars. There are plans to later extend the railway to Jordan's Aqaba port, all part of a plan for China to fast-track trade in the Middle East. Haley Slear, Channel News Asia, Tel Aviv.